This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So I'm really excited by this. I was literally just watching a Joey Landreth on that pedal show and he had this weird little uh, contraption which was throwing things, I think, into part of a loop with part of a wet dry wet setup. And it looked to me and the sounds that I'm familiar with, it was going into some sort of Chase Bliss device, which a lot of what they do is kind of like either micro loops or loops and kind of manipulating these repetitive bits of sound. The thing for me with that is, and what Joey talks about, is that he's got a really elaborate kind of looping system and uses the, the Gig Rig G3 or something like that, I think. What's cool about the Helix is that we've got access to this sort of stuff and the routing is super easy. And so I was able to, as you're about to see in this video, just stumble across what I think might be one of my favorite presets I've ever put together just based off of this idea of running part of the helix into um, like a, a little loop that is always listening to something, it's reversed, it's then thrown through a couple of other delays and then into like an infinite feedback loop and I can control it with the expression pedal like hopefully you saw in the introduction there. I'm going to show you how I built that, let me know in the comments if this is a new idea to you but to me I've seen people ask about can the helix do kind of chase bliss kind of stuff. Absolutely, I think yes, and this is how. Right, I've just been watching a, a tiny bit of Joey Landreth on um, that pedal show, and it gave me some inspiration for something I want to try. Now, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to build something very odd, and I think I'm going to put it down on the bottom path. Maybe we'll go with something like a reverse delay. So, uh, action and action. And what I want is this to essentially be like a little uh, sort of Chase Bliss inspired part of stuff. Now, I'm going to put this delay, I think, about as long as I can put it. Um...
and what I'm also going to do is control this input gate with a switch so we're going to turn it on sorry that's not what I want on threshold it's going to be controlled by this switch here which is foot switch 5 um, max value will be 0% min value latching so in theory we'll be able to turn this off now what else I want is this down here at the end of this path I'm gonna put a plate reverb I'm not I haven't got my glasses on dynamic plate with a nice long decay what I think I'm going to then do is throw this into something like the glitch delay maybe glitch delay kind of want something to make this potentially a bit more long lasting so now what we're going to get is when we press this we can potentially get this kind of thing then right so I can turn that on or off And then, so is that the right way round? Yeah, I think so. And then the other thing I was going to do was some sort of kind of auto pan situation. Stereo. So this should start to... Is that right? So when I have this lit, that's a hundred percent. So maybe that's the opposite way to what I want. So ten hundred. 
Sen. Hundred. So. So, that's going to do something. What I think now is I'll probably increase the mix on here. And what I'll also do is I think control the level of this overall with the expression pedal. That seems to be something that could be logical, right? EXP2, max value, zero. Right. Now we can do our normal kind of thing over here. So, Maybe we could even put a looper down on this path, I guess. Uh, just think about what I'm going to do. So we're going to need a guitar amp. Amp. Right, what can we go for? Let's go for a, del a deluxe norm. Presence nice and low. And cab use fifty seven and one sixty ribbon. Let's try that. What I'm thinking is if we go down here, then we can make use of a little bit extra processing. Let's have a nice delay on here. That's not what I want. Delay, transistor tape, or Elephant Man maybe. Headroom all the way up. Trails on. Okay, save this and delay here. Um, oh, I'll turn the scale down 80%. And we want here some sort of pretty screamer. Again, set level and okay, save. And we could also stick a looper down here, I think. Now I'm going to put that here, I think. Stereo looper, six switch signed here. And let's, see. I feel like this could get. A little bit wacky, so let's see what happens now. So, I'm going to be playing something in B flat.
this is that this switch is essentially like the Chase Bliss kind of blooper mood. Some of these pedals maybe in the habit. It's kind of listening when you're not playing or listening when it's not lit. Then when you bring your expression pedal in, can be a surprise. Take it back out with the expression pedal. I mean, that's the story about how I put together my new favorite preset. I mean, sorry, I'm incredibly inspired by that. Um, <laughs> thanks to Joey Landreth for that kind of semi-weird idea. Um, yeah, but it's kind of that Chase Bliss idea of you have this pedal which is kind of going to be listening. Uh, how do I edit this, by the way? Let's um, customize um, what could we call this.
uh, listen. So the way it's going to work is it's going to be always listening unless the light's on, in which case it's playing back what it's heard, if that makes sense. And your expression pedal is your way to kind of control it. Um, Is the best color for this teal obviously okay right let's save that and let me know if you want me to kind of drop this into the folder i feel like even by itself you can find that tone kind of fun Okay, thank you for stopping by. I hope you find that as inspiring as, as I do. I mean, this is going to, I think, be something that I'm going to use a ton. Uh, just, I feel like that's a, a bit of an instant inspiration machine. I'll catch you in another video soon, and uh, leave a comment below if this got your juices flowing. Cheers!